much as cases of COVID-19 continue to explode. It's becoming more and more difficult for local health departments to keep up. Tonight, 13 on your side's Elena Holland takes a closer look at the challenges of contact tracing. Contact tracing lets you know if you've been near someone who tested positive for COVID-19. But now as cases soar, it could be weeks after exposure before you're contacted due to the demand on tracers. Contact tracing is has been strained and al almost to the point where it is impossible. Due to the sheer number of positive cases, West Michigan County Health Departments can't keep up with contact tracing. Officials from Kent, Ottawa and Muskegon counties all say they have a backlog of cases and phone calls to make. You know, last weekend, I think we had 550, 500 and 640 cases come in um, over a three day span. That's nearly 2000 cases in three days and um, we just can't do that. So why is this significant? Contact tracing helps mitigate community spread of the virus by identifying those who may have it but may not be symptomatic. Then they can isolate and not infect others. But now that can't happen as effectively. Well, the most serious repercussions are that the virus continues to spread and we will see increasing hospitalizations. We already are. The three counties have all increased their staff to help with tracing. Kent County has pulled people from other divisions in the department and those who previously did tracing. And in Muskegon, they're now seeing the virus affect their staff. Well, so they're impacted, negatively impacted, either by a positive case or uh, being quarantined or child related. Uh, concern. There is already a delay in the contact tracing system by nature. By the time someone is infected, shows symptoms, gets tested, and then lets others know. But now that lag time is even longer. There's going to be some people we probably won't get in touch with just because it's, um, you know, by the time that we we get a chance to get in touch with them, it's, it's probably too late to call them. So what can you do? The health departments are asking you to take preventative measures against the virus, but also call your workplace, your child's school, or anyone you have been in close contact with if you test positive or think you may have COVID-19. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.